still struggling in Houston. The Lakers up and down. The Thunder rolling. The Celtics back on track. Milwaukee and Toronto still balling. Golden State tearing up the league as usual. Clay Thompson goes for 50. Derrick Rose goes for 50. Another week in the NBA. Stay tuned. Welcome back to another NBA recap. Um, it's a pretty busy week as usual. Um, we had a few uh, guys out for a few games with injury. Um, James Harden was out, obviously. Um, he's back now. Um, Anthony Davis missed a few games. Giannis had a concussion. I think he missed only one game. Um, so everybody's pretty healthy. Not too, um, no major injuries that I could think of. I may, maybe I missed somebody, but I don't think there were any major injuries. Um, Houston Rockets. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I mean, I did feel like they would struggle losing their two best perimeter defenders in Ariza and uh, Ma Mute, but I didn't see this coming. What? I didn't see this coming. Obviously, Harden has missed games, so we got to take that into consideration. But even with Harden, they were one and three. He's back. They won a game with him, so we'll see how it goes. Um, it looks like Carmelo kind of got um, his rhythm a little bit, being able to play extended minutes with Harden out. So it's going to be interesting to see how they fit the three of them back in together. So we'll see what's going on with Houston. Um, you know, they're trying to get a new um, defensive coordinator. We'll see how that goes. But moving right along, we got the Los Angeles Lakers. Up and down, up and down, up and down. They win two, lose two, win one, lose two. So it's like the Lakers are under 500 right now. They're four and six, I believe. And, um, I mean, they have the talent. You can see that in every game. They can play with everybody. I think it will take time, but um, they also, I think they're going to sign Tyson Chandler. Really? He's going to be bought out from Phoenix. I don't think this is a major move as far as on the court. I think he'll help some of the young guys um, based off of his, um, you know, he's played 18 seasons, so he's got a lot of knowledge and he can help these guys out in different situations, so. Another voice will be good. Um, he will help as a backup center for McGee, you know, being able to rebound and still block shots. So he will be a definitely upgrade for their backup center position. But so goes the life in Los Angeles. We'll see what happens with the Lakers next week. Um, OKC Thunder. Look like they, they got back on track. Uh, we'll see if they can keep it going. Uh, we had a lot of marquee games over the week, you know, the, um, Lakers and uh, the Trailblazers was an excellent game. Came down to the wire. Um, the Celtics and the Bucks could have been a preview of the Eastern Conference Finals. A lot, a lot of really good games. So I'm, um, I'm enjoying the season. I hope you guys are too. Uh, what else we had? Clay Thompson, <laughs> Mister Five for thirty six from three. Bruh. Goes bananas. Hits 14 from 24 from three. Just insane. I mean, NBA record 14 threes made in the game. Breaks Steph Curry's record. Scores 50 points in three quarters. They, they got shooters. What can I say? The Warriors got shooters. We all know that. Um, but yeah, Clay had a hell of a night. Um, looks like he's back on track as far as his shot because he really was struggling. I mean, shooting... Like eleven percent from three, so that's nah, good to see Clay get back on track. But um, what else we got? The Celtics, like I said, they're playing well again. Seems like they're all starting to figure out their roles as far as Haywood, Kyrie, um, Tatum. So they're starting to look good again. They had an excellent win against Milwaukee. Uh, really good game. Really good game against the Bucks. So 
Uh, who else? Who else am I missing? Um, Derrick Rose. Sorry, D Rose. I almost forgot. Derrick Rose had a throwback game, scored a career high 50 points um, for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Jimmy Butler missed the game. Um, and Rose, I mean, he's been playing well um, all season for them, actually. But I don't think anyone saw 50. You know, he's obviously never scored 50 in his career, so this was a career high. It was very emotional for him after the game. I think for everything he's been through with all the injuries and deciding whether or not he wanted to hang it up for him to get 50, I think, you know, just all the emotion kind of poured out of him after the game. So it was, I'm happy for D-Rose. I'm happy for him. he can uh, continue to play well this season. And, um... I don't know what they're doing with Jimmy Butler. We'll see what happens with that, if he stays, if he goes. But so far, he's still with the Timberwolves. Um, but, yeah, it was a crazy week in the NBA. Um, I'm looking forward to next week. Who else is going to score 50? So we'll see what happens with that. Um, if y'all new to the channel, please subscribe. We do this every week. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when I drop videos. Um I do post them on Twitter, so that way I try to get as much of the audience as I can. But thanks for tuning in. I'll see you on the next video.